She is with us now, the former Alaska governor, the last vice presidential candidate for the Republican ticket. Uh, Governor, uh, where are you today? Are you in Arizona? I am, and um, happy to see at least to a monitor, Neil. Glad you're there. Same here, Governor. I apologize if my hearing's a little compromised, so my bad. But, Governor, uh, they are going to embrace private capital tonight. They are going to embrace uh, rich people, that it's okay to be rich. It's okay uh, <laughs> to do very well in this country. It's okay to be a capitalist. Um, Good strategy, risky strategy, what say you? Well, imagine that. Someone will tout what we all learned in Economics 101, and that is free men and free markets are a foundational principle of America's uh, wonderful exceptionalism and um, our prosperity. And the better somebody does in America, the better we all can do in America. So, yes, thank you, Lord, that somebody's going to talk about success and the expectation, Neil, for rewarding hard work. That's what we try to teach our kids, right? Work ethic. You'll be rewarded for it. That's what we would like to see our government actually embrace and at least understand. Um, Governor, you know, this, it looks like a fairly unified convention. Um, it looked fairly unified after your convention at John McCain's, and then we had that big meltdown. And uh, I always wonder, Governor, it could have been Jesus and Moses on the same ticket. And that year for Republicans after the meltdown, they, they wouldn't have gotten elected. Now, barring a development like that, uh, do you think this gets nasty? Do you think that uh, it's, it's a class warfare campaign and that's what this will come down to and it's just going to be a messy fall? Well, first, make sure that you clarify that the meltdown in 08 was an economic meltdown, which was out of our ticket's control. And um, uh, didn't Absolutely. have nothing. Okay, thank you. Just want to make doggone sure you're clear on that. Um, no, uh, we're in a meltdown right now. Again, Neil, and what w people have to do is realize that one out of every five working age men in America cannot find a job. So, GOP, do you have a plan to do something about that, to let the private sector grow and thrive and keep more? of what it earns and produces and reinvests in business so they can hire these people? Or are you going to let government grow and suck out more of the private sector because that's what the other ticket, Obama's ticket, has tried to do for four years and that's what they promised to do for four more years? We're in a meltdown right now. Let's not keep going down the road that we've been on for four years. Let's turn this thing around with a new group of leaders. How would you advise this ticket? We talked about that financial meltdown, Governor, and all this week when I've been trying to say the dynamics that were enforced when you and John McCain were running, and out of the blue you had this, this whole market kablooey thing. Uh, in order to stave off a crisis, then President Bush, working with Treasury Secretary Hank Paulson, essentially rescued the banks. We had the beginning of TARP, and there was this fear among conservatives that we were setting something in motion uh, that we would later regret. Now, Mitt Romney said at the time he appreciated and understood the need to do that then. Uh, John McCain at the time appreciated the need to do something then. He was telling me last night it was botched in its implementation. But do you think this comes back to bite this ticket since Paul Ryan was on board with that rescue? Mitt Ryan was on board with, uh, uh, Mitt Romney, I'm sorry, was on board with that rescue. It was not in a way to vote one way or the other, but he supported it. That uh, the administration is going to come back at these guys and say, well, you talk a good game, but when push comes to shove, you, 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 didn't, you didn't walk the walk. Well, that's when a mea culpa comes in quite handy. And everybody who voted for TARP and stimulus and $6 trillion additional now that we in debt that we hand to our kids and grandkids to have to pay off, that which totals now $16 trillion in debt by growing government these last four years under Obama. Well, now everybody needs to say, hey, I'm sorry, man, for voting for that. I'm sorry for supporting these bailouts and the cash for clunkers and all these goofy programs where centralized government planners tried to plan our economy and they failed. Well, now, mea culpa, say sorry, shouldn't have done that. We learned our lesson and we will not repeat this and we will not continue to incur debt, period. We will, we will engage in austerity measures. They need to actually start using the A word, austerity. We'll live within our means in America to let the private sector grow. You know, I like what you said there, Governor. Sometimes we just have to admit, 
Mayor Kofi, I was wrong. I botched it. It was a bad vote. Uh, let's move on. Uh, we're not going to relive that. And I, you know, a lot of Republicans aren't doing that because the administration's going to come back, Governor, and say, well, you guys are judging us on our spending. You guys did a lot of spending. And maybe that is a good strategy to say, yeah, we know the, the errors of our ways. Uh, not, they're not doing that, though. Does that worry you? Yeah, it worries me. But you know why it's good strategy to do? Because cause now we have a character, a person on the ticket in Paul Ryan, who is in a perfect position to claim this mea culpa and say, sorry, shouldn't have gone down that direction. But what he has done, he opposed, but then he proposed. He opposed additional failed policies of Obama's, right? Additional spending and um, ignoring of um, common sense, uh, uh, economic 101 principled plans, time-tested truths based on free markets to get us out of the rut that we're in. And Paul Ryan did propose a budget. Obama hasn't even had a budget passed in his four years. At least Paul Ryan has been able to propose on paper a plan that people can look at and say, well, that's better than what the other guy did to us for four years. You know, you do have a way of just putting it in a nutshell in English. That's not, that's not too bad. Uh, Governor, finally, about you and about you do have a unique skill to, to, to present this whole argument in a clear, understandable way. A lot of people say, well, maybe this wasn't your year. Um, who knows what happens to this ticket? Your future is still bright. A, a, a presidential run still beckons. What does Sarah Palin say to that? I say, you know what, that, that I appreciate that compliment because that is why I am a Tea Party patriot. The Tea Party grassroots movement that is full of people like me, the average Joe, we are Joe Six Pack. We're out there raising kids, running businesses, just, you know, trying to get by essentially. And Todd and I have been very, very blessed and privileged and we work very hard all our lives. And materially speaking and in other respects too, uh, we have a lot and I so appreciate it. But we're also a good example as so many in the Tea Party are, of what it means to be an American. Working hard, expectation for reward for that hard work, being an example for others to prove that you can accomplish anything in America. I don't know where my path will take me politically, because to tell you the truth, Neil, politics drives me crazy and I don't necessarily <laughs> like politicians. But I want to keep helping the rest of America who understands that we are the most blessed, prosperous, safest, most secure, most generously, voluntarily generous nation on earth. And our best days can be in front of us if only we get back to the time tested truths that built this country. That's what I want to work on. Not too shabby, Governor. You've taken a lot of hits, but you have changed this national debate. And for that, you are very much to be commended. Governor, it's a real pleasure having you on. Thank you. It's an honor to get to speak with you. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Governor. Governor Sarah Palin, think about that. She does have a way to crystallize this in entire debate.